Star popped open. Thank oh, you. Oh my god. Yay! Oh, Yay! Oh my god. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Amy and Zoe here, all the way down in West Kendall, Miami. Oh, the gates to the ground. Hold on, everybody. Flip it. Doing a um, adoption and home check at the same time. So this is great. You can all get to come along with. So what we look for, see where the wood meets the ground. We want to look for any gaps where any dog could fit out or dig out. And we check every single inch of the yard. See, it's even educational for all you people. This is what we do in a home check. Look at this. Bam, all the way down. This beautiful yard, beautiful screened in lanai. No pool to worry about falling in, slipping in. Perfect, 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 perfect. He's a bigger dog. He cannot get out from this. Nothing. It is 100%. Okay, you can let him off. off me. Yep. You're free. See what he likes to run. He's going to stay right by our feet. <laughs> there you go. All right, you're free. Yay, Velcro now, Ziggy. And we don't not adopt out if people right. do not. It depends on the dog. On the dog exactly. If a dog is super fearful, like people, just today, somebody was sending me an email wanting to adopt one of our dogs. Super fearful, will not walk on a leash. Total breaks on. And I'm like, I can't send that dog to somebody in a condo or an apartment because they're not going to walk. Right. You know, and it takes time. So here, you have a completely fenced in yard. You can open and close and come out with him. Obviously, always watch him. Right. Of but um, look. Other dogs but, that are fine without a fence. Check. That's right. Yeah, as yeah, long as they're walked. Oh, how lucky that's are you! Two gates and that's so everybody put up the fence that's for you. You only had to do. Well, my neighbor Paul, when he put up his, yeah. he said, "Do you want to finish fencing yours?" I said, "Yeah." <laughs> Silly not to. But you know, I did everything right too. I still hold the permit. And uh huh. It's all legit. So good. How you doing? You like my backyard, Ziggy? Ziggy. Listen, she's calling him Ziggy. That's his new name, a.k.a. Velcro. Um, you remember the, the rescue we, we were on, picking up the puppies. And when we were there, we saw so many dogs in need. That's so okay. many. Uh, one being he's Velcro smart. that he's we named. Shade. Yeah, he's, he's so shade. smart. Um, he was in a kennel outside. It was as hot as hell. It is so hot right now. Like The sun feels like it's baking me baking so we took him we took him right it's the best save ever say hi mommy love this woman and her husband her daughter came with the grandchildren we made sure he was good with everybody it is a ha <laughs> yay ziggy velcro He's so little. He, he looked so big in that kennel. I, I, I still, he I can't so even, thin. he's uh -huh. so little. He ate a good breakfast this morning. Yeah. So you can leave food down for him since he's the okay. only and he can just graze, he's a grazer. Look at him, he's perking up. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Like what do you like think, Zig Zig? Oh, absolutely. You can throw like some balls day. around, yeah. you know, and every toys. Day. And it's only been two days. Go ahead, Bubba. Like, to the night to the next one. He's evolving. He's like, one of the sweetest dogs we've ever placed our hands on, to be quite honest with you. He's you see how submissive he is? And he is he so he gets a little motion sickness from the car, but I will tell you, he sat on my lap the entire time here. It was an hour. Um, no salivating, nothing. He was fantastic. Much better. So we must be getting more used to it. 
No, look at him. He loves the grass. <laughs> you like the cool grass? Does that feel good? Does that feel good? Well, if you're gonna not be walking it, you could take. The you could take off. the harness off. Okay. You don't need well, to. I, I I like to walk the dog. I yeah. think it's good for them. Right. So, um, how long you do you think I can walk it? Walk him in the backyard before I can like walk him actually, on the He's actually he street? walks. He's been walking with me. Yeah. Okay. He's been good. Um. Then I would walk him on, when you walk him on the collar in case he was to try to slip out of yeah. the harness. Okay, yeah. that's fine. And um, Try I have, both and I have see what he's more comfortable. I I guess uh -huh. I can when he sits Perfect. Yeah, because he has no weight issues. So, yeah. so perfect. Yeah, no, I'm sure my vet's going to tell me that they want him to gain a little weight. Yeah, and just so you know, I, I have all his records. Oh, good. So I'm going to send those nice. to you. You're going to fill out, you didn't fill out the adoption app yet. I absolutely did. You did? Of course I did. You have it with you? It's right there. Who really? gave it to you, Shelly, before you left the house? Because I forgot to. Uh, no, I gave it to you. You gave it to me. Uh, yeah, I gave it to you. Come on. I forgot I gave it to you. Come on, let's go inside in the AC. Come on, let's go. Come, come on, on Zigzig. Come Velcro, on. come on, Zigzig. Come on. Good come boy. on. Guys, let me know if I'm clear because I'm inside and I don't have internet on in the house. So let me know. Say hi, Daddy. This is Daddy. He already was on the couch. He was on Daddy's lap. Handsome. My God. When did we rescue him? Two days Two ago? Two days ago. Two days ago. And look at now. This beautiful couple came, reached out to me. I loved them on the phone to pieces. Loved them in person. It could not be more perfect. And we are getting the application. He's already neutered. He's vaccinated. He's microchip. Look, he's already looking to go back outside. I think it's on the microchip mm -hmm. paper because okay. I don't know the chip number. Or anything like oh, that, so. okay. That we will we'll transfer. And, yeah, you yes. transfer. Yeah, so. and we'll transfer. Oh, good. I'm glad I'm clear, everybody. We'll come up. Do your information will come up. We will always be a backup. Okay. So, yeah. God forbid they can't get a hold of you. Oh, that's contact perfect us. Yeah. because you know how to get. Hi. Else, so. Exactly. So where do you plan on his feeding station? His feeding station is right in here. Come here, Ziggy. Velcro, come on. I actually washed the bowls and everything. So you put, I have to put water in the perfect. Water. That's what I want him to get used to. Awesome. Come here, baby. He's afraid of the verticals. <laughs> He's afraid of everything. Look, Boo Boo, we got some fresh. Oh, you have a birdie friend, a cockatiel. Yeah. Does your cockatiel talk? No, he, he used to ring like the phone and do yeah. some things. He's old now and he's nasty. What's, what's his name? Spike. Spike. That's why. <laughs> well, we named him Spike. Hi, Boo. Don't put your finger in. Don't put your finger in, she, he said. I had a cockatiel named Rosie for years. Okay, and where's the other one? What do you think of Spike? Hi, Spike. Spike doesn't like people. He's old and crotchety. What do you think? My sister oh. had one that she used to take with her to work. And everybody yeah. in the office would go by and see. He got old. He got so nasty. She had to stop taking him to work. And <laughs> so this is so great because they're retired. And he is going to have his mommy and dad. See how afraid he is of everything? It's okay. He'll get over that. Yeah, he'll be desensitized. He's Absolutely. really just doing so great. Everything's new. This is your new home, bud. You know he's going to want to sleep with you. That's okay. Well, he's probably going to have to fight with my daughter because I'll show you where he will probably be. Oh, your daughter lives with you, right? She's, yeah. what, 35? Yeah. Go see. Come on, Zig. I'm calling him Ziggy because that's his new name. Oh, that's right. It was yeah. Velcro for us. <gasps> what do you think? Come here. You know what a bed. So he was in your bed with you, right? Oh, in my bed? Come on, show him what he does. Yeah. Come. Come on. I, and, and I don't care if he sleeps with me. It's fine, but she, yeah, she tends likes to tell yeah, him. We don't to, care who. As tends, long as he's allowed to sleep with somebody, because that's okay. what he loves to do. Let's see. Wait, you want to jump? He won't jump up. Oh, so you have exactly. to pick him up. Yeah, that's okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We even go in people's beds. Like, I know. I'm like lying in somebody's <laughs> <laughs> he'll start this way, uh -huh. and then he'll start going like this. This, <laughs> this is what he must do. This he must he touch you and lay on top of you. <laughs> this is how I wake up in the morning. That's right? why we called him Velcro. <laughs> She'll probably love it. Can you stand it? He's yeah. ridiculous. Because Shadow didn't you. do that, but Shadow would climb right here on my side. 
and oh, I couldn't move Yeah, that's her. a little too much for me. I like to breathe when I sleep. <laughs> well, it might be too much for Stacy and, and what will happen teach him how to do it differently. Yeah. Once he, you once he gets comfortable, he'll kind of move his head. And then, uh, okay. Like last oh, and then he has to more, hold you, see? Oh. This, oh. Yeah, he's got to be touching you. Oh. Oh. I can't with this dog. And then he'll just... I can't. <laughs> This my is, dog Diamond is like this. Uh-huh. My wife, can't, I can't see my wife's face at night. She's forty something pounds, and oh she literally my. jumps on the bed and takes my. her paws, right. lays across it, wraps them around her neck, and her whole head is pressed into your face. She tries to do it to me, and I'm just like, you, I, you, I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. But he, he, is, he just wants to touch you, and that's fine. Boy. That's so fine. it's Stacy is your daughter? Yes, yeah, Stacy's my daughter. Stacy, when you get to see this video, we are demanding you allow this. <laughs> we want photos and videos. Kidding. We want proof. Hi, buddy. He has to have, and you have to pick him up and put him on your bed. <laughs> have to. It's demanded of oh, the adoption. What am I going to do without you on top of my face tomorrow morning? She comes into the, <laughs> Zoe comes into the rescue house this morning, and her husband Steve's away, so the cat will play, which is Zoe. She, the first thing she says, if I didn't have Steve, this dog would never <laughs> would never leave my house. <laughs> Tiffany said, if I had him, I never need a man in my life ever. Well, but, but it's, it's funny because we've been married 46 years. Matter of fact is, we didn't get our first, this is our third dog now. We didn't get the first one until Bonnie, who came yesterday, was like 23 and moving wow. out of the house. Wow. He don't want to die. And he didn't want it because he saw what happened when we were dating. We had a, a rescue, even then. We had gotten a, a little adoption from the Humane Society, and our yard men let him out. That was before they oh chipped dogs. Oh, my God, I know. He had, Thank God he had a collar on mm-hmm. because somebody actually turned him back into the Humane Society, and they and called us. But what happened with my sister and I with that dog loss, with the tears and the hysterics, he said, we're never He couldn't handle dog. seeing you like that. No. Yeah. And, and a lot of men can't handle had, it. When we had to put our baby shadow down, both dogs. He actually came with us. He was a mess. He's yeah. a big mush. Yeah. Yeah, big tough guy, right? Big tough guy. My bestie. My bestie. Hello, everybody. Okay. You love the new name Ziggy? I think they, it's a he great looks like name. a Ziggy. He looks like a Ziggy. But you're always well, going to be wanted, Velcro. She, she actually wanted him to be Tank. Oh, God. Like that is like horrible. That. I didn't like that. Who wanted You're Tank? Stacy? Well, she, she came up with Tank and, St- and Ziggy. And I said, Ziggy's fine. I don't like I sit tank. down to you. Down this is a perfect yeah. time to do eye kisses, Zoe. <laughs> eye kisses. Or face kisses, whatever you want. To. <laughs> Every time we do an adoption, uh-huh. we kiss both eyes. Okay. So they so never, ever, see ever see anything bad, bad yeah. ever again. Well, in there. I know that. I know that. Because we love you. He won't. I actually, even um, my dog sitter is one of the girls that works at the vet. Awesome. She comes here? No. He, my dog My dog went to her house. Okay. She took the most... Did you? Does she have a fenced yard? No, she's in a condo. She walks them. Okay, so you got to make sure he can be walked. Well, well, you're not going uh, away anytime but, soon, but, are you? Oh, no. And you have your daughter here, too. Yeah, and I have my other daughter who yes. take him. So. Don't ever board him. I, I, Ever. No, okay. I, I promise. He will be horrible. I, and, my, and my friend Doug actually has a dog sitter that comes to your house, but with Shadow, Shadow is already on medication for yeah. our kidneys and everything. We have people too, you know, that okay, come well, to that's you. Good, so Part I'll of my you team. Know. Okay. Yeah. So no, never, ever, ever. We don't believe yeah. no, no cages for our babies. No, yeah, only but I am going to give you the stuff. one I have. We'll take the cat. Oh, Those we use in the yeah. car for it's transport. Got, transport. It's, it's, it's a pillow in it. You might want to. Yeah, no, it's perfect. It's not been used in a long time. Perfect. Ziggy Wiggy, Ziggy Wiggy Ziggy, Ziggy. Velcro, Ziggy Velcro. <gasps> He's like, oh. I'm so confused. I don't know who I am yet. But I will. <laughs> I will in a day. You're a good boy. He's so he's perfect. Guys, can, do, are you getting the, the happy heart like we are when I think of I him living in that outdoor kennel in you. 90 degree temperature no, in the heat? You might need a sweater in this house. Yeah, <laughs> I love it cold. When I go to do home checks and I'm sweating inside, I'm like, oh my God, I can't put my dog in this house. We actually have a window unit in my bedroom. It's so comfortable That we keep here. at 67 at night. I love it. It's so comfortable. Yes, you could come and see. I'd rather have more blankets. Yeah, let's go see the other bedroom. See. Let's go see let's Maya's see. bedroom. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Do you jump down? Yeah, don't jump down? Oh, you jump down. You just won't jump up? Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. Down, down, down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He's like, what do I do? I don't know. Come down? I do. See how submissive yeah. he is? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You want to come with us? Come, come on. on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 
He'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. Come on. Come on. Yep. There he goes. And you want him to do things on his own oh, because, course. you know what I mean, it teaches him not to be so afraid. All right, this is the room that the kids stay in, but it's kind of like our spare room, and I usually keep this closed off, but okay. I wanted you to see everything. Yeah, no, it's awesome. But this is, he could Your sleep in here. He everything is so here. clean, Sometimes so the clean. Sometimes the are here, they like to sleep with the dog. Awesome. And this is mommy and daddy's. This is room. mommy and daddy's big bed. Not nice. You sleep in here, too. Come on, dad. Come on, zig, zig, zig. Oh, Ziggy. You don't come up, but you come down. So we pick you up next time. Every time we pick you up. Oh, my God. And he's, I guess he smells the other dog. That's okay. Which Listen, he, Zoe. I don't know where Zoe went. Zoe. Yeah. He did, did he pee at all in your house? No. No peas or poops? No. He goes okay. outside. He's been really, really So good. the more you take him out, the better. Oh, no. well, that's fine. You might even want to get, because he is a smaller um, breed, you might even want to get like a little set of those stairs, like the carpeted doggy stairs. Oh, that's stairs, a good idea. And that way he can kind of get up on his yeah. own. Yeah. And you might be surprised that once he's here for a while. Oh, uh, yeah, he'll be jumping be right up. I'll be showing you videos of him jumping right I'm, up. I'm not, I will not be surprised, believe me. So, guys, this is it. Ziggy, come here. Come get waters. Come here, Bubba. Over here. Here. Look. Good boy. Good boy. He drank the water. That's good. He's drinking. That's wonderful. I have to go get some regular um, dog chow right now. I only have puppy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you have? Oh, you have puppy? What kind is it? Science stuff. You can put a little bit down. Okay, for now. Yeah. yeah. And then the wet food, you can add to it in the morning and the evening. Okay. The dry, just leave down throughout the day. Okay. He's, he's, he's young. You know, he may be just a year. So a little bit of puppy science won't hurt him at all. Yeah. And just always make yeah, sure and that's that's the, fresh that's water. The, that's the dry dog. We we'll prove it, so maybe I'm lying. That's totally fine. Look at him. He's already checking every And I, I get so worried because then you hear about blue buffalo. I hate blue buffalo. It. I know, and I won't. I hate Beneful. I, I, I yeah, just. Beneful is also the other one. Is the one that's the. the um, Purina. You know, it's been around a long time. The Purina Pro. We talked about it. One of our best in, in, um, well, doctors once loves this, it. Once I, once I get rid of the, that, I can switch over she to She hates it. science diet. She calls it yeah. science dirt. Oh. Imagine that. And that's an internist. And what's the other one? The one? Dr. Cannon hates science diet. Yeah. She calls it science the dirt. The of the cute dogs on them. Pedigree? No, not pedigree. It's, it's, it's only a wet dog food. But that's had Maruva. Ter- it's had terrible reviews, so I don't use it's that. It's so confusing, honestly. I mean, like I said, I cook for my dogs. A lot of people cook. They just boil up some chicken breast with some carrots, and then they cut it up and put it in a Tupperware and every meal they throw a little handful in mixed with the dry kibble and it gets them to really, it's good for them. You want to go back outside? He, he just drank some water. Hey, wait, so. let me open the, open the curtains. I know he doesn't like He's afraid of the verticals. Mine are electric. I push a button. Oh, when God. He, when he ran to the other side of the house. <laughs> Didn't even think about it. So after we leave here, we are going back because we're going back to Susan's house to pick up the dog that was in the barn with no AC. She has no place to put him. It's either that or the street. My, my sister lives in Lake Tahoe. She has 10 acres. Um, look, look, look. And, um, good boy. The sun went in too, which is great. Yeah, it's much better. It's so hot. They didn't, they, um, she tried to rescue a dog. She has three. And, um. They wouldn't approve her because um, they didn't like the fact that the dogs live in, in, in her barn in the summer, which is, they're outside, they play at night, it's in, it's in the 60s. It's the, crazy. You know. I mean, there's so many different rescues. And different. she couldn't be a better doggy mom. Everybody's different, yeah. you know. I, I have a lot. I'm very strict to what I do, too. Well, but that's all right. And I, I said, somebody said to me, I can't believe you have to wait for them to approve you. It's your third dog. I said, <laughs> I'd rather matter. them come and approve me. Absolutely. The, I will the never. Dogs, the dogs that I take, have our, the last one had been a, abandoned in a foreclosed home. Mm-hmm. I will he never was, let a dog go without going bones, to a home. Skin never. And bones. He looks like he has to go. Yeah, it yep. like that. Go make poopies. Chris in your yard. This is so rewarding. Good boy. <laughs> Good baby. Cheryl Mays, um, the dog you're asking about. 
So are you open to fostering? Because we have no room whatsoever. We are completely full with two rescue houses. Like I said before, if anybody can foster, um, then please reach out. But nobody has reached out to me. So unfortunately, uh, with two rescue houses full, all our fosters full, we have no room. So for all the bigger dogs, Cheryl, if you can foster, let me know. And we'll be glad to come to your home. That's where we're at right now. Please don't put that on us. Yes, we are extremely stressed out. It's hard enough. You know how much I love you, Cheryl. You are an adopter of ours, so you know how it goes. But um, we're extremely stressed out. And when we go to these situations, they're all in cages. Um, all I can tell you is, is they all need homes. And we are full. So unless you can offer assistance, please do not ask us what we're going to do with this dog, that dog, because we have it is hard enough to walk away. I don't think you understand how hard it is for us um, as a rescue to leave any animal behind. But it goes the same. It's the same as a shelter. We walk into a shelter with three to four hundred animals, dogs and cats, and we are only allowed to take what we can, what we have room for, and we have to walk away knowing they're all facing death. So please understand and be sympathetic. And if only comment if you can honestly offer assistance. Good boy. Come he's already getting the routine down. It's so good. He's so comfortable. He's fantastic. Comfortable. He's home. You're home. This is Bubba. when we know we did our job because we get the feeling <laughs> that they're home. And this is this is the this is the, this is the third. I'm guessing he's more mostly rat terrier. I see a lot of rat terrier, for sure. I see sure. rat terrier. Oh, Sit on the couch. Honey. See what he does with you, Mark. Let's okay. see if he jumps on you. Love you, too, Cheryl Mays. Thank you for understanding. I don't mean to sound angry, but I'm just very frustrated. And you know I don't have a filter, and I'm honest. That's why some of you love me, and that's why some of you hate me. Oh, Daddy. Get Daddy. Yep, pick him right up. Nothing. He's tiny. Daddy is. Good boy, good boy, da oh my God, you got a nice pillow there, Ziggy. You've got a good pillow, Daddy's got a good pillow. And this is what he's gonna be doing. He's gonna sit on Daddy's lap, he's gonna sit on Mommy's head, he's gonna walk around and cuddle and go in and out in the backyard. It's just the best. He's perfection. Oh, he's doing? home. He's, he's checking, checking it all out. Checking it all out. Did he do the bath? Did he go to the bathroom outside at all? He peed. He peed. Awesome. He did the big so, like I said, the more yeah, you take him in and out. And I'm gonna also, I'm gonna also walk him little short distances, but I will hook it up to the collar. Good. I wouldn't walk him for maybe like the first three, four, five days until he's really home with you. Okay. And then he's comfortable. Then you can start putting the leash on, like I told you. Yeah. Walking in the backyard, even if it's at night or early morning before it's hot get him comfortable with you in the leash so he can look at you and know it's you okay. and then venture out and just go short little distances okay. um, when it's not brutally hot yes. the pavement gets oh, brutal yeah. hi, hi, hi. we always say do your walks you early food? morning or late I when the sun you. goes down because the I pavement is you. so hot and the yard is perfect anyway. yeah. so. and every time he does any kind of business outside as yeah. you know you've had dogs praise him yeah. do the silly dance Yay, Ziggy, good boy. Yeah. Then he knows he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. And you're going to build his confidence. Yeah. That's why I'm he's... I'm telling you, as soon as I get him playing and running around in the backyard... He, he's come so far in two days. I can't even imagine. Imagine. Do you have any family that has dogs? No. Okay. Do you have any friends that have any dogs? No? It's always... I have some friends that have dogs. It's always nice to keep them socialized, and yeah. he loves other dogs. Yeah, well, my neighbors around the corner actually just got a rescue. Um, and Mitzi's a bigger dog, but she's so sweet. I would make sure, yeah, it's a, a good, a very friendly. Yeah. Um, never let them just off leash. Always make sure yeah. that they sniff and they get yeah, along. We want to get him to the point where we can take him to a dog park or something like that. Small dog section. Yeah. That would be awesome. He would love that because he loves other dogs. I think it's really great for him. 
And then you can always reach out when you're ready for a second dog and we can bring, I'm kidding. I, I would love to tell you that that would happen. It's not. But it won't. I'm kidding you. But. Yeah, I wasn't getting a third one either. Now that he's here, I'm going to post it on Facebook. Yay! I'm post where we got him from. There you go. And tell people, especially if they're looking for like, you know, whatever size dog, but if you're looking for smaller, you were actually the only one we went to. Awesome. That, uh, had a good selection. Well, thank you for choosing us. Well, I'm, I'm and so how glad. did you find us again? It was your daughter. Yeah, uh, my daughter works with Alyssa. And Alyssa adopted from us. Yes. Good. Thank you, Miss Alyssa. Good stuff. <laughs> welcome to our daddy. Welcome daddy. to our family. That's what happens in my house? They all go to daddy. They all go to daddy. <laughs> daddy, you have the magic touch. <laughs> it's good stuff. The best. Love, love, love. That's what it's all about. Good boy. I love you, Zig, a.k.a. Velcro. Welcome to our family. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be part of your family. You're Such amazing. good stuff. Zoe, thank, thank you. Too. Thank you for, you for fostering my baby. Oh, I'm so happy. He's home. All right, guys, we're going to sign off. We're okay. going to get the adoption app, get everything right. done. And Zoe and I are on our way to um, check out Susan's property again and pick up another. So stay with us. It's not that far. We're already in Miami. See you soon. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Velcro now Ziggy is home. Such a happy heart right now.